Okay, this is my new Ether 10 100% Arduino compatible Arduino ish board by Freetronics. It has the onboard Ethernet, it has the USB, of course, it has the power jack, and it has micro SD slot here, which I've stuck an old 512 card I found in for no particular reason. Now, this is the RGBW module, which I have soldered some wires on. And it is ten dollars. This one here is seven sixty or seventy. Can't remember. And the RGB module plugs in like so. This one goes to five volts. Yeah, no, no, damn it! I haven't, I haven't tinned these cables, so they're all dud, um, frizzy. Is a good word. I should get the proper cables for this, but I can't be bothered. That one goes in there. Just tidy that up. This next cable goes in there. Which is not going to do. That goes in there. Or don't go. Piece of stupidness. Crap. Yeah. There. And final cable goes in ground, which is that one. There we go. Dodgy but okay. Then I mean you can see that LED nice. Now we do our thingy where we plug it in and it has its power then up on the computer I bring up where's my RGP sketch here is sex attached my RGP sketch program there's YouTube here is RGP sketch program we hit the upload button it does its thingy and then down here it does this and that is slower than I wanted so I will change the delay down to one hundredth of a second hit upload again, it'll do its thing and there we go yay spazzy light where is it there? it is going through red, green, blue and white and of course you don't have to have that plugged into the US the computer for that to work but you do yeah, need a power source such as this thing with AAA batteries in it you can yeah I broke it there. plug it into that and uh, I'll turn this on and then it'll do its thing and yes when I have the money, I will get some servo units and, and uh, an infrared line tracker, and I will make it follow lines and drive around. I also didn't want to spend money on the speaker module, so I cut up some old quarters headphones, and I can make it beep. Yeah. Okay, that's all for now.